We do begin here with breaking news. A deadly crash along Highway 9 in Norman. Law enforcement tells us a vehicle crashed into a group of cyclists and one person has died. The Norman Police Department is not releasing details, but does say Highway 9 is closed between 84th Southeast and 108th Avenue Southeast. We'll pass along any updates on the News 9 app. Well, we never hit 100 degrees in the metro today, but that didn't make the heat any more bearable. All the neighbors did, though. <laughs> all, the surrounding, all our surrounding cities did. Well, on top of the heat, the drought has pushed firefighters into massive burns in rural Oklahoma. David Payne in the Bob Mills Weather Center with an update on our fire threat. All right, guys. Yeah, and it's high and getting higher. Now, this is new video coming in from this evening here. Check this out from Ty Gardner. And he is from the Loyal Fire Department there. And uh, the video they're taking from the fire truck as these guys and gals are moving through the terrain. That is from Blaine County up near Hitchcock. And uh, I tell you what, look at the landscape there. I mean, it is just scorched. It is burned. And here's the deal. That fire is still burning tonight. Okay, so here's what it looks like from outer space. The hot spot, not as hot as what it was during our earlier newscast. That's because firefighters are getting down on that fire, which is great news. Outside of that, we are fire free. That is the only game in town. Today, there it is, 99 in Oklahoma City. But look at everybody else around the Oklahoma City area. Everybody, everybody pretty much in the 100s today, except for Will Rogers. So the 100s, they are the norm, at least for a while. The fire threat, it's just going to get higher. Hottest temperatures since 2012 on the nine day. And yes, there is a not as hot front on the nine day as well. When does that arrive? We'll take all the help we can get. Guys, back to you. The multi county task force is responding to that Hitchcock fire. Already thousands of acres have burned since yesterday. The Blaine County Emergency Management Director says it's spreading out from the canyons there. Ranchers spent today moving their cattle to safer spots. Fire departments taking the brunt of this heat as they fight those fires and take extra safety precautions. News 9's Felice Romero spoke to the Guthrie Fire Department about how we can all help out our firefighters right now. Felice. I'm standing in a grass field and as you can see, these drought conditions are already taking a toll. Extreme heat not only sparking more grass fires, but pushing firefighters to their limit. High temperatures and strong winds. Unfortunately, it doesn't take but one small ember to escape, and you've got a, fire, a wildfire racing pretty quickly. Fire stations across the state battling the drought on all fronts. We've seen an uptick in the number of grass fires just due to the dry weather and the lack of rainfall. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to persist into the near future for sure. It causes a lot of additional wear and tear on our vehicles, uh, wear and tear on our guys uh, in terms of uh, hydration and exhaustion. Guthrie Fire Chief Eric Harlow says the temperature near a fire is is around 150 degrees, taking a toll on their engines as they fight fires. Our tanker, for instance, had a, a small fire break out on the pump unit yesterday just due to some of the heat. Firefighters are taking precautions while they work, but it only goes so far with all their gear on. We're obviously going through a lot more bottled water and uh, Gatorade, Powerade type drinks than we normally would due to the heat, uh, trying to get those guys replenished and rehydrated. Uh, taking more frequent breaks than we might normally do on a fire just to get that extra little bit of rest so we don't wear these guys out. Departments in need of water and Gatorade donations as they fight fires in triple digit heat. It'll be considerate of our, our volunteer departments and other fire departments in the area. Don't, you know, don't just come bring it all to us because those guys need it just as bad as the rest of us do. If you would like to help out, the Fire Association says the best thing to do is to drop off donations at your local station. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.